Hello Shadows, welcome to another video, and before I continue on the main topic, guess who decides to guest star? My little knight I found him, but it's Nemo who's guest starring, and make sure to follow him on his channel, Nemo Duck Hat. So, I love you Nemo. So today, what, what, I think... I think I made him upset. I think I made him uncomfortable. Call my chair then, Nemo. Call my chair. Sorry. So, and today we're going to talk about how I personally believe them Lucas Films or J.J. Abrams Spring Back Darth City is dampens the whole Darth Vader redemption scene in Return of the Jedi. And that's because Anakin is supposed, was supposed to be the chosen one who will bring balance to the Force by destroying the Sith. Anakin did that by saving Luke in the Death Star by throwing Darth Sidious down the elevator shaft. So in that moment, Anakin kind of emerged and pretty much destroyed his Darth Vader side, which was Anakin's Sith Lord side. Of course, took his son almost dying, but still. So, like, what, 30 years has passed between, or 30 plus 40 years has passed? I don't know the exact timeline has passed between the, the sequel and the original trilogy. But does that mean the Emperor hasn't died? If he hasn't died, that really dampens the whole Darth Vader redemption scene. And before I continue, if they do not bring back Hayden Christensen to be Anakin again, so he can destroy Darth Sidious yet for a second time, and that really will change my viewpoint on that scene. Because when I first saw that scene, and now I'm not talking about the Blu-ray where he says, No. No. But the M When I first saw that scene, I thought that was pretty epic. It's like, oh shit. This is the part where Darth Vader turned good. Where he turned back to being Anakin Skywalker. And this, is, and by then I already watched the prequels, because the very first Star Wars movie I've ever watched was Revenge of the Sith, and went back to do, to watch the movies in numera, numeral order, which at the time was only six Star Wars movies, so I started with The Friend of Menace, ended at Return of the Jedi. I said, so I said, oh shit, this is Darth Vader, or Anakin, as I like to call him at that point, fulfilling that privacy, oh crap. And now, when I see that scene, hypothetically, if they don't bring back Hayden Christensen, they should, I would look at that scene saying, well, before, it was awesome. Before there was this, the new trilogy, this, scene was powerful. It was awesome. But now it's like... Okay. I mean, it's still Darth Vader redeeming himself for all the evil that he's done by trying to destroy the Emperor, but if the Emperor isn't dead, and if Anakin isn't going to come back in Episode 9, then... Like... That would... make that entire scene that George Lucas made that's powerful. It really would. And I'm hoping that we will get to see Hayden Christensen come back. Because if they play it right, such as happening, that's the intensity or powerful or whatever -ness to that scene I'm referring to, he could potentially raise it a bit. Like, oh snap! Anakin. Destroy the Emperor, 
Yeah, he came back. Oh, we can see Anakin Skywalker again. In Rise of Skywalker. And this time, we are seeing Anakin again. To destroy the Emperor. Fulfilling the prophecy twice. Within a 30 year span. This would be awesome. I'll be okay with him becoming a Force Ghost, but if Darth Sidious is going to come back in the movies, we need Anakin to come back in some shape or form. If not, then if not, you guys will see me make a video. I will publicly display my displeasure of how they brought back Darth Sidious without bringing back Anakin, motherfucking Skywalker, who is supposed to be the chosen one, and who by destroying the Sith. Now, speaking of Sith, Disney was saying, and Lucas was saying, they weren't planning to bring back the Sith in the sequel trilogy. I hate to break it to you, regardless if you know this or not, you are. Because the Emperor is a Sith Lord, Palpatine is a Sith Lord, his Sith name is Darth Sidious. You know if someone is a Sith Lord, if they use the term Darth. I was happy in The Last Jedi and The Force Awakens, that they did not decide to bring back those any Sith Lords. Because that was my one issue with the expanded unit the legends. That Anakin was supposed to bring balance to the force by defeating the Sith. Yet in Legends they kept on bringing the Sith back. Jason Solo, which is like the equivalent or better equivalent to the Kylo Ren of now Canon, turned to be a Sith Lord, following his grandfather's footsteps. And my, that was literally my one issue with the Legends universe. Like, can't you come up with a different dark side group besides Sith? Because that's just kind of lazy. And didn't, isn't the prophecy for Anakin supposed to bring balance to the Force by due to feeling the Sith? Maybe I am too strict on it. I don't know if I am. Leave a comment below. But, which. I was happy with them not having the Sith back in this trilogy. It, it and replacing it with a different Dark Sider group. It it showed some originality to the new trilogy, which I know. The sequel trilogy, Lucas Films doesn't really have much of, but st still. But, point is, is if it's any e McGregor in Star Wars again, regardless of how cool it is or not, if you're going to bring Darth Sidious back in the sequel trilogy, you gotta bring Anakin Skywalker back in some sort of way, in some sort of way to help the re Resistance beat the Emperor, like pos potentially possessing, because there's been some rumors that Darth Sidious might possess uh, Rey, then how about, I don't know, I'm not saying this, this is a good theory or not, but since we're doing the whole body controlling thing, why don't we get Anakin to control Kylo Ren? I mean, it will make sense since... Kylo Ren really wants to be a Vader Jr. And Anakin Skywalker was Darth Vader. I mean, you know. That way, Kylo Ren can, or Anakin can still fulfill the, the prophecy a second time. Maybe that will be what Matt Smith is for. So it can be, I don't know. I guess Matt Smith was like, Debatedly best known to play the 11th Doctor, Doctor Who, is supposed to come and be in Star Wars. I don't know his role yet. 
but you know, unless there's some sort of leak on what his role is, there's only one way to find out, and that's to watch Star Wars Episode Nine: Rise of Skywalker. But my point is, in this entire video, yeah, I'm kind of one. I'm kind of pissed that they bring back Darth Sidious after they explicitly said, "Let the past die." Clearly, if you have to, then they bring back the past for marketing. But, my overall point is, outside of the point I just said, I don't really have much issue, much issue, with them bringing back Darth Sidious. Because Darth Sidious is definitely the scariest and smartest villain in now Disney, and in Star Wars alone. But, they, if they bring back Darth Sidious, even though this will have to be a really well-kept secret, they will have to bring in Anakin Skywalker to at least help out to defeat Darth Sidious for a second time. That's where my stance is. And if you don't bring in... Pretty much, depending on how you use Darth Sidious, and if... The, and... By bringing in... If you're going to... Pretty much the whole Darth Sidious situation here. Depending on how you go about this, it will also affect how powerful the whole Darth Vader redemption scene was in Return of the Jedi. Because as of right now, up until I see the actual movie, Rise of Skywalker, Darth Vader's redemption scene, or Anakin Skywalker's redemption scene in Return of the Jedi is powerful. It's one of my most favorite scenes in Star Wars. So, the whole Emperor situation will essentially affect that scene, which is one of my favorite scenes of all time. Then, no, no, George Lucas added, added in the Blu ray editions, hurt it a bit, because. We didn't need to hear Darth Vader's uh, saying, like, no, because we had a sense that Darth Vader was saying no mentally. We didn't need to hear Vader saying, contemplating whether or not to save Luke or not, because, you know, that was. It should have been up to us fans to realize, hey, is Darth Vader going to sit there? And let it, the Ember kills his own son. Or he's going to save his own son. Which, yeah, I realized the Blu-ray versions came later than the DVD and the original versions where Vader didn't say no, but you get my point. Anyways, what do you guys think about the whole Disney bringing back Darth Sidious situation? And do you think this will impact the whole Vader's redemption scene in Return of the Jedi. Leave a comment below. And. May the Force. Be with us all.